Greetings, salutations. This is Sean from Calligraphy Yoga Roselle, and today I'll be sharing with you an exercise, a really important exercise from within the calligraphy health and calligraphy yoga system called single eel swimming. Uh, it's an exercise that also has its roots in Bagua, a Taoist art that's based on the spiral and based on circles, and it's very good for your lateral chain of movement uh, for your kidneys, for your liver, your gallbladder, for your shoulders, and for the dance move it's also pretty awesome too. So the exercise originates in Bagua, and Bagua was made famous by a bit of a legendary master called Dong Hai Chuan. Now Dong Hai Chuan was not the originator of Bagua, but he was most certainly the guy attributed to its transmission into broader society. Now, he was discovered in the Emperor's Palace. Uh, the legend is he was a waiter. He'd somehow gotten into the place by becoming a eunuch. I don't know the story or the, the legitimacy of that story. Apparently eunuchs don't go bald, but that's another story. He was serving tea in such a manner that had a lot of skill and dexterity that the Emperor invited him to come perform for him. And he ended up having some significant martial skill and taught the Imperial bodyguards. And this exercise is said to be good for a 50 year old shoulder. Now the Chinese have a saying that when the shoulder gets to 50, it gets 50 year old shoulder. And this is to prevent 50 year old shoulder. It's very good. Incidentally, I've had one student and he was having a problem with his shoulder due to a rock climbing injury. And from doing this exercise, he did it for a few months. I hadn't seen him, he went away. When I saw him back, he was like, Sean, this exercise is really good. I have fixed my shoulder doing it. He was German. That's the best impression I can do. And this exercise really is good for the shoulder. Um, now, you can start with a teacup serving tea. You know, you can hold a tea plate. You can even put a tea cup on it to keep yourself extra diligent. You can even use boiling water if you're, you're going to pursue it to that level. But the student that I had has just been doing serving tea or single eel swim and a double eel swimming. Now the reason this is called double eel swimming or even single eel swimming gives that live feeling like the head of an eel swimming through fluid, it's live and it's pulling its whole body with it in one continuous link. Um, and that link also connects to this important part in our body called the Dantian. Now in a moment we're going to go through a sequence where we explore that movement. At the end, we're going to finish it with dragon sweeps down or snake creeps down, depends on what you want to call it. But this exercise is really good for fluid motion. It starts by serving tea. We can serve immortality, that's pretty awesome. We're going all the way around, opening up the ribs, opening up the kidneys, breathing into the area. Okay, you can just use one arm at a time, then we come forward at the same time, breathing deep. It's like we pull the bow and arrow, and then we serve the tea, that immortality for me, for you, for everyone. We go around. And we're opening up fascial planes in the body. Uh, if you want to know more about fascia, look it up. And then we can serve the tea one more time. Coming around, holding that teacup. It doesn't matter if you drop your tea to begin with. If it's boiling water, it does. But for the moment, just make it fun, as fun as possible. So we breathe in and we can close for today. So if any of you guys have a shoulder injury, uh, would like to boost your kidneys a little bit, um, please play with this exercise, let me know how you go. And so we'll just cut to a class, one of our calligraphy yoga classes now, where we'll see some students performing this exercise. You can do it for five minutes, 10 minutes, 20 minutes for immortality daily. Breathe in. 